been a couple weeks since my last shop talk, so I thought I'd give you guys an update what's going on in the shop. Two videos ago, I put out the hurricane balls, which are still holding together. A very cool little project, and I have to say, a whole lot of fun. Um, we ended up taking a can of air, taking it to work and using canned air on it, and it, it got going pretty fast. And I don't think the glue will hold forever, so I was worried about um, going too fast with them because I didn't want to have two projectiles in the shop. So if you make these, uh, please be careful. They are not meant for high RPM. Uh, I did get a beat on the real ones. Thank you, Mr. Mills. Dan Mills uh, found me the link for these called Tornado Spheres. So Dan found them for me um, at Grand Illusions of all place, and these came all the way from the UK. So there's that. And I think they were only like um, 15 bucks US or $9 uh, British pound sterling. So fairly inexpensive. <sighs> I have been sick again. And here we go again. So oh, well, at least I get this kind of cool announcer voice, you know, where they get that deep, low voice. Um, and, you know, if it wasn't for the fact that I was hacking up phlegm, um, coughing like crazy and had a severe chest pain. It might actually be a cool sort of sound effect, but uh, as it is, I'm, I'm not a fan. <laughs> mm. My goodness. And then last week I made um, the coin pult I just love the way this thing looks. It is super slick. It is just beautiful looking. I've got a beautiful piece of um, walnut that I used. Um, sadly, I had a couple issues with the, uh, the film, but um, mainly with the, the gluing. I had my hand in front of it the whole time while I was doing the glue up, so the only parts of the glue up I could get were sort of Neanderthaling it, where I'm banging on it, but, you know, I cut the best I could. Everybody seemed to like traditional Peter showing up at the end, so um, I've definitely been enjoying doing the editing on those. The um, only, only other thing I've been working on in the shop is my jointer and I, I keep working on it sporadically. I got my wooden pulley all made and fitted and it works great um, but the belt that I had for it is too short. I didn't take into account the circumference of the pulley um, so I need, to, I need to order a new belt. So just when you think you're done which is rule number four there's always something. Oh, I did, I did go on the Maritime Woodworkers uh, weekend shop talk. Jason McGinn over at McGinn's Toolbox and Matt Brander at uh, the Bearded Woodworker um, are together the dynamic duo of the Maritime Woodworkers. It was fun. Sadly, my internet connection was, was um, flaky throughout it, so I kept having to re-say everything I was talking about, um, which made me nervous. And then I got all flushed, so uh, I spent a lot of it red-faced and uh, sort of stammering. So if you get a chance to watch that, you can totally go check it out, and I'll put a link to it down below. And if you're into those live shows, Brian Summers also has a similar format for the Summers Woodworking Show. So uh, those are the two weekly live woodworking shows that I know of. I think they both do the hour format. So it was fun, um, and I don't know if I'll go on another one for a while. I, 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 think, I think I'll have to upgrade my internet connection before I go on another one of those. So, But I enjoyed it. So thanks guys, appreciated it. It was nice to, uh, to come on the show. Oh, and <clears throat> went through another quart of epoxy. Completely empty. About four months per quart. So at that rate, um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have to slow down. It's like 70 bucks for the um, resin and the hardener delivered to my door. Right now though, all of my money is being held. My last two payouts from YouTube I put into limbo um, for my greedy uncle. And we will see what my greedy uncle has to say as to how much I owe him. I'm sure all of you know him or have someone similar to him. Mine wears stars and stripes, but um, he is not the only greedy uncle on the planet. <laughs> so Uncle Sam will get his fair share and then I can go out and buy some more epoxy. So 
Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to have something for you next week on my main channel. Um, until then, I will catch you later.